Barnstorming was once an integral part of professional tennis. The best players in the world, night after night, trekking to another city. Andy Roddick, James Blake, John Isner and I added a new twist to that old school approach when we went on a whirlwind tour. The Twist, a focus strictly on charity. Take some of the best American tennis players of this generation, donating their time. Let them show off their skills in a relaxed setting and then bring them up close with their fans, with all the proceeds going to great causes. A surefire formula for success. Just got off the flight from LA. We have three straight days of events to raise money for some incredible cancer charities. We're gonna start off in New York for James Blake's foundation event. Founded in memory of James's late father, Thomas, the James Blake Foundation seeks to raise awareness about cancer detection, research, and treatment. Let's see if these things still work. All right, you boys ready for the first stage of this three-leg charity extravaganza? We're gonna start off with James's event with a little doubles action. I'm ready. Doubles, I can handle. Yeah, I mean, I was just excited that James put me in for all three matches tonight. I was very thoughtful of him at his own event. <laughs> the best I just, horse? I just act like I play. Uh, John? I'm ready. Got taken on uh, two retired guys and an actor. <laughs> <Get> an actor. <laughs> so, uh, I'm the only current guy here. I uh, should be favored, but um, I really don't like not. my chances. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how uh, Snow and get hurt. Let's go. Enough talk, gentlemen. Time now for action. The tennis was lively, including rather nimble racket work from actor Boris Kojo laying claim to the title of best tennis playing celebrity. Everyone enjoying the chance to aid James's cause. I'm really proud of the work we did. I've now become more aware of how much work goes into a charity event now that I've been doing it for quite a few years. And they definitely took advantage of the fact that I'm retired now. So I had a little more time on my hands and I've been a, been a part of it and, and, a, and a really big part of it and I enjoy that. Uh, and it makes me proud to be now done with it and, and hopefully count up the receipts and see how much we, we raised for cancer research. Off to Jersey to do the Justin Gimmelsov event. I'm, I'm proud to be a part of that. Our focus is on children's charities where I was raised in northern New Jersey. Since 1998, what the Justin Gimmelsov Children's Fund has done for the Valerie Fund has been immeasurable. We cannot do this without the Justin Gimmelsov Children's Fund. The support has been incredible to 4,000 kids with cancer and blood disorders. The setting, Center Court Athletic Club in Chatham, New Jersey. Center Court happens to be where I developed my tennis game, a very passionate and generous tennis community. So far, we've uh, we had a pro-am and we're having a clinic right now with, with a lot of kids and they're having a blast, we're having a blast and the event tonight's gonna um, be a lot of fun as well. Our significant others were also very supportive. Brooklyn Decker, Kerry, Maddie, and a celebrity couple, Ann V and Matt Harvey, helped increase the event's Q rating. But nothing thrilled the fans more than the chance to see tennis. And once again, an actor stole the show. David Duchovny showing deft touch and superb court sense, mixing it up with the pros. Lots of fun doubles action, and then two of the biggest servers of all time, Andy Roddick and John Isner, bring the heat to New Jersey. These matches are, are, are very important, not, not for the outcome, but for the, uh, for the, the real end result of, of helping others. To host this event as an adult, husband, and now father, triggers so much emotion. The chance to give back at a place where I was able to get so much is an honor. Well, two down. Last night was James Blake's event in New York. Tonight was mine here in New Jersey. We jump a flight to North Carolina tomorrow for the third leg of this charity extravaganza for John Isner in North Carolina. Players continue to give back. Last day of the three-day road trip here. Um, we're hitting the home stretch. We're very excited to be in my hometown of North Carolina. We're going to put on a great event. John was pleased to be joined by Andy Roddick, the crowd excited by the chance to see these two American stars. We're at Star Mount Country Club in Greensboro, North Carolina for the eBix Charity Challenge, raising money for the John Isner Foundation. Clinics are very special opportunities. Children enjoy a rare, up-close chance to spend time with the pros, building skills, hitting balls, and asking questions. John takes his mission very seriously very important for, for me to, to give back in a way that helps out uh, an unbelievable cause. And the cause to me is, is so close to my heart. Um, all the proceeds go towards the UNC Chapel of Weinberger Cancer Hospital. And that's where um, my very own mother was, uh, was treated for colon cancer. And uh, it was a disease that really almost took her life. And the amazing doctors over at UNC saved, saved her life. And they've saved countless other lives as well. So if I can give Thank back to them much. in just, a, just a, a little way, I'm always gonna try my best to do it. 
A natural entertainer, Andy warmed to the Southern hospitality. Two great Americans showing off their athletic prowess, renewing their rivalry, enjoying a little friendly competition, and engaging in light banter. But as the rapid fire tour neared conclusion, the players never lost track of the bigger picture. It's just kind of like the culture of tennis to, to help out. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of, uh, of Gimmel for paying that forward, proud of James for paying that forward, and uh, John also. All three of these events were highlighted by the participation of former world number one, Andy Roddick. Andy's thorough engagement each evening revealed his loyalty to his friends and also underscored Andy's long-standing commitment to helping others. It's personified by his tireless work on behalf of his foundation. When people ask me how I got where I am today, I tell them it takes a lot of hard work and determination, but it's also about seizing opportunities. Who knows where I'd be right now without the opportunities I had, like coaches, access to education, and mentors. I was fortunate to be exposed to these opportunities. Hard work and dedication allowed me to make them my life's work. While I had plenty of opportunities, many children in East Austin are not that fortunate. They live in circumstances that challenge their ability to succeed in life due to hardships they didn't ask for. They have a talent to succeed, but often the opportunity is out of reach. It doesn't have to be that way. The Andy Roddick Foundation exists today to create abundant opportunity, to ensure that these children will have access to the opportunities they need to reach their full potential. Through a combination of education, sports-based mentoring, and partnership with others, we are doing more than offering temporary solutions. By building a strong, collaborative effort and partnering with existing organizations, we can provide high-quality programs that truly make a difference and have a long-term impact on the lives of these children and their families. Without your help, we can't give these children the future they deserve. We know that talent is universal, opportunity is not. Help us make opportunity universal. Donate, volunteer, spread the word. Together we have the power to forever change the lives of Austin children. With Roddick's help, through the three events, we raised nearly $1 million. When we return, Players Give Back wraps up as Roger Federer earns an award named for a grand tennis icon, and we honor the life of a man deeply loved by our entire sport.